As the Prince and Princess of Wales came together to enjoy a Christmas lunch at Sandringham for the first time in three years, we take a closer look at the home where they celebrated. This year, for the first time in three years, Prince William and his wife Kate were able to tuck into a Christmas lunch at Sandringham House, as they spent their Christmas together with family at their country home Anmer Hall, which is located on the Sandringham estate. Along with their three young children Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, the happy couple swapped their usual residence in Windsor for a return to the lavish country estate, where they were able to unwind and relax in between an otherwise jam-packed schedule. Gifted to the couple by the Queen in 2011 as a wedding present, the 10-bedroom Georgian property underwent a one-pound. Five million makeover prior to moving in, among the renovations were the addition of a conservatory, a brand new driveway, new roof trees and a huge overhaul of all the interior decorating, for which they enlisted the help of designer Ben Pentry. Described by William as, very peaceful, many eagle-eyed royal fans have already seen small glimpses of the private residence on social media and television. The exterior of the property for example, was widely seen during the pandemic, as the Prince and Princess of Wales were joined on their front doorstep for the BBC's Big Night Inn, where they were spotted clapping for the NHS. Standing beside a wall adorned with red brick and brown stone, a large dark wooden door marks the entranceway, while vintage-style lamps flank either side of the door. Additionally a pair of well-manicured topiaries also sit at either side of the doorframe. Another feature of the exterior is also a large woodshed, seen clearly in the Cambridge's annual Christmas card for 2020, as the young family posed in front of a large pile of chopped logs. Given the volume of wood in the shed, it is highly likely that the house itself features multiple wood-burning fireplaces. Inside the property, the royals typically like to conduct interviews from a number of specific rooms only, with one of the most popular appearances on their virtual calls being a pale green walled room, complete with large white arched doorways. A number of small personal touches can also be seen, such as paintings and photo frames adorning the walls. When Kate announced details of her 2020 photography competition, fans were given a brief glimpse of another room in the couple's home. This time, Kate made her announcement in front of a large white framed sash window, which offered plenty of natural light to her neutrally decorated room. This time, the room appeared to feature white walls, taupe brown curtains with a scalloped trim and a small glimpse of the lush green vegetation growing just outside the window. On another occasion, while working from home, William also offered the public a small glimpse into his home, as he took part in the documentary, Football, Prince William and Mental Health. While filming a segment for the film, William gave an interview from his personal study, which revealed floor-to-ceiling bookcases neatly adorned with books, while burgundy walls and cream-patterned curtains perfectly complemented the functional space.
Moving on from more work-orientated spaces to an actual living area, one clear example of the couple's living room was featured in Princess Charlotte's adorable birthday photos back in 2015 and 2016 respectively. In these images, it was revealed that the couple had opted for a vintage-style shabby chic aesthetic, as Charlotte posed on a green and cream checked chair. A second photo, also revealed a taupe and grey striped sofa with statement cushions, while a comfortable wicker chair provided the perfect backdrop for the young royal to play. Kate is also well known to have a highly coveted kitchen, with Finding Freedom authors Omid Scabi and Carolyn Durand remarking that the couple often entertained out of their huge kitchen with its glass-roofed dining area. Friends and family from nearby gathered informally in the inviting space for laid-back meals, a stark departure from lunch at Buckingham Palace or Sandringham, where guests were served by a full staff. Kitchens have been a major feature in all of Kate's homes so far, with the princess having gutted a lavish £38,000 kitchen from Anmer Hall in 2014, to replace it with one more to her taste. Originally, the kitchen had featured £17,000 worth of beautifully hand-crafted hardwood worktops with inset double Belfast sink and elegant mixer taps, a large aga costing £11,495 and a high-end fridge worth around £8,630. 